unfair old might be a little bit kind, but sometimes the run of the green is required. I think Sosa is world class. Maybe we might see that sparkling brilliance in game one. Might do indeed. So five minutes on the clock. And we're going to be seeing 72 pin connector in the blue. Knights in orange sporting. Basically home colors for the Knights, which is beautiful to see. Out to Sosa. Good look down into the corner against some ground. And pretty typical here, Danny. Early game, just look to gain control of the whole pitch. Bit of control, a bit of niceties as well with it. We've seen earlier in today a bit of madness or let's just control ball chase and maybe upset the sort of the professionals, the sort of the established teams. This one should be typical, easier for everybody to understand, but it's just the basics done right. And this one could be a small mistake, but the Knights are able to cipher this one back into the corner. And with that already looking decently well too. And so up so, well dribble little play could be popping this one back into the middle and when all that said and done bacon it's just one small little seal mate. it's just when the first goal when does it appear and who will green that, that momentum yeah and good to see the momentum coming on through from the last series so so with a clearance downfield Cobb stepping out let spider on in and then a quick one two but well read by radico People in the meet in the midfield. I can already tell, Danny, this is going to be such a sweet series. We've only had one minute 30 of action, but this doesn't feel like a typical game one, does it? This feels like game three, four, you know, when you're right in the heat of the action. I always enjoy those type of series. It doesn't take much to warm oh. up. Oh, and shots like that need to be buried. That will just sit in the psyching. And the players will rightly know, Bacon, they should be one up. They might have a little bit of tilt felter, but hopefully not the case as Sosa tries to get this one middle and blocked out it goes. Yeah, Spider doing well there and Cobb going to be needing a big long clearance. Well stopped out by Spider to be able to keep that moving. But Sosa with midfield defense going to be a massive nuisance. A cheeky little shot put on target. And every now and then, Danny, you've got to test the defense with little prods like that, don't you? Sometimes you just want to make sure the keeper is on us. There's nothing worse than the keeper able to nap and you're not scoring it on a bacon. You just want to make sure that they're staying on us. And at half time, no goals bacon. I'm loving this series. A defensive <laughs> little masterclass on display. I mean, if you could have it your way, you wouldn't see another uh, goal for, what, five minutes from now? Like oh, going to OT, Neil, Neil. Oh, okay. Don't know if the fans at home would agree with you. I don't know if Cobb's going to agree with you. He's still trying to absolutely bang that, but unfortunately not got the speed to catch up to the ball. Seabass steps up, but on the line it is kept Radico with a massive radical save. It's fabulous already, and so is it no pressure really on that simple clearance right across. And Jacob thinks <laughs> that's <laughs> what. <laughs> Our league said earlier, Seabass will get credit to the goal, but all hail the king of the X Games. I, I know Our League was ecstatic earlier, but for us, I, I, I guess old dogs, Danny, seeing Jacob back absolutely popping off is not only nostalgic, but beautiful. And talking about beautiful, this was so well taken by Sosa. Clean. This really is, you said, our old Sir Sal's. We're from Sarp as well. A long time watching players grow up into the scene, and Jacob has always been there. But when Sosa really is the battle, to an extent, youth versus that experience there, and a decent touch around. But None of that nil-nil. The team's had enough of a settling in period bacon. Now the boil and the cauldron. Let's see if they can whip up some cauldron spells. Let's see indeed. Seabass technically wins that out by Sosa, but the follow through ZPS is going to win that. Not going to be able to do the third though. And this is what it definitely feels like. There's a whole equation coming up. You've got to go through the formula to be able to get the answer. And the answer at the end of the day is always goals to turn into wins. But who's showing the work in? One all, Danny. So little separating these two sides. Now they're going to sit there with a chalkboard 
and sit there and work out the equations, Big. It might take them a while. They might go for Bruce Force attack. Just pepper the net. Whopper the oh, devil. Oh, oh. The chalkboard has been ripped off the wall, Bacon. And somebody just brought a baby a digital force. When we when you look at Pittsburgh Knights, violence is not the answer, it's the question. And the question was when will we see demos come on out here and now? Damn. Sometimes you just love an explosive goal like that. Well, if you're the one scoring it, yes, not when you're <laughs> the receiving end. It, uh, I believe True. Versioso might have a few uh, chapters in his new upcoming book on how the demo. Yeah, and I imagine a couple of enemies made along the line, but oh, Sosa. Not making her enemies right now. He's making fans out here with some beautiful plays like this. Oh, CPS as well, just trying to control the setup. It was almost like a you as well. Sadly, not being credited for it. But Bacon, we talked about this one as a match to look forward to, as potentially even from the pre show already in game one. It has been stellar by both sides. And do you know what? I think it's only going to get better here. 3 1 doesn't truly reflect it. It has been a lot closer than the scoreline does show. Well, when you look at it, the Knights have figured out, oh, that is a nice little cheeky sub there from Radico. Just want to appreciate this again, but the Knights have figured out what 72 pin connector are doing right here. And it all now relies upon 72 pin connector to turn the tables, come back at them. And you can see they do have these hints that they have figured out an attacking route, but Generally for the last 30 seconds, it was a little bit null and void for the rest of the game. But going into game two, oh, I reckon 72 pin connector are going to come out with even more like fast and furious play because that's what's winning it for them is just being absolute top pace. It's just at this level as well, and pace usually dictates the games. It's mm. Many people, as I say, if you go faster, it usually solves the issue. Not necessarily all the time, but... It was certainly evident 72 PC wasn't the quickest. There weren't fastest to certain the balls, and the Knights knew that. They were able to find the spots, take it in, and I did say the scoreline didn't really reflect how the match ended. I think 4 1's being generous. It was a fabulous opening. But 72 PC, we did not mention Spider a lot. To be for Seabass 2. Two fabulous players in their own right here. We just want to see a little bit more from them. Do indeed. And it's interesting for me, actually, that speaking of that, when we see Jacob at the bottom, but he had the most, I would argue, within this game, pop off opportunities, the creation, the sparks to what is a play. So for him being at the bottom of the board is an interesting one. Going into game two, we just have to see what happens here. Moving on to Forbidden Temple, five minutes on the clock. Let's see how these two teams absolutely rock it in this one. And Jacob already trying attempts to pass off, I guess. If it was intentional or not to see Bass, it's an interesting choice. A well, the decision they're going to have to try, but I like the fact they're willing to adapt, maybe change things up here just to throw a spanner in the works here. But 30 seconds in, talk about the settling period. Each game, they need to be 5, 10 seconds in, get back into that. Sort of velocity, the pace behind it, and Jacob that was a nice little play to get something on the wing going here. But the issue, where's the exit? Where's the pass? And so far here, it hasn't arrived. And I'm a little bit worried about these overextensions on the ball now. You see, whenever a hit is taken, it's more of a shot than anything else. Too much power behind the ball. They need a little bit more control, 72 pin connector. You're able to get both as well, it could generate into an unfathom attack as well here. The only issue, as you said, where's the control, the pass already there, not to say both. To be for hampered in that in the opening minute, not how we saw game one to be for a bacon. Already tipsy how this game's gone, and Jake from the corner should have a pass, but again, no control. The control all and see Barcelona down, looking for the pass back to Spider. He's going for a second touch, but Sosa denies. Radico up into the air, keeping this moving downfield. He's looking for an attempt to pop it on pass, but Jacob will be able to deny it, put his car between the ball and net and just send it away. But the danger, the damage is still coming on through from the Knights. They will keep this ball down in the blue half. 
No goal come out yet, nearly two minutes into this game. The reminiscent to game one, how that one lasted as well. When is 72 PC actually going to play out of their own half with the so the tech inside of it, you've seen them locked in in a bit of a fortuitous pinch already. And Jacob should steal the boost here. He's going to maybe whip a bit into the net. And Seabass can't tap it in like last tape. And we will remain goalless. Oh, indeed. But Jacob's got it past one. Oh, Spider just not able to react quick enough. Stuck in the corner a bit too much. And Seabass here has got no options in front of him. Just has to allow it to drop in the middle. No one's home. This could be very dangerous. Spider able to find the ball first. Good reactions from the lad. Good to see, but the defense still being tested here. Big and they've got to be careful. And Sosa, well, let's just try to go under, make sure the defender was watching there. And you just see the accuracy lacking from the Knights there. But when you're at that difficulty, right tight as well too. Shouldn't be scoring it, but should be at least pulling the keeper out and Seabass just trying to hold possession there by the boost overlays as well too. I think they're trying to buy a bit of time to relax and get their breath again. It does just feel like there's not enough tween about in the back lines. Demos like that from Zepies might be the answer. Remove a man. Only three seconds. Unfortunately, no goal found there. Knights are winding up. They seem a bit closer to me anyway, Danny, to being able to succeed here. But we know Rocket League counterattacks can somehow find a goal, if not out of nowhere. Radico able to get up in the air, but Seabass well responded. Well, I don't know where you say. It just seems to be if you're taking your concentration off for a second, this is not the esports where you can maybe relax for a minute or two and Rest on your laurels, let's just keep on going and chisel away. And Jacob has done this time and time again in his career. And Seabass Bacon in game one, he done this again. A beautifully simplistic setup and conquering of the net. Goal going to Seabass, but Jacob should get just as much credit for his work in the corner. And of course, the layoff. Now Knights playing from behind have got to be able to find a goal of their own. Only one minute remains in this. Sosa threatened in the corner. That'll be out to ZPS, but what he does with his ball is so important. And if anything, he's handed it on over the spider. The pop-up and Jacob's a little bit too close, not able to respond. Good hit coming in from Radico to be able to send it off wide. But you can see 72 pin connector really stepping up now. Well, I have to. Well, that's the one I saw be knocked out in a very simple fashion, but this is not the 72 style way when they had that transfer mid split as well, Bacon. There was a few eyes battered. Well, this is certainly playing dividends here and that shot maybe just made Sosa a bit frightened what could have been, but one last chance here with 10 seconds there, Bacon. They've got to get a move on. Oh, and that could possibly be it, but no! The cell bump wants a Sosa! Absolute screaming madness right now for the Knights. The ball is still in the air. Ooh. As soon as it touches the ground like that, it's all over. Game going to 72 PC. And well, 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 Danny. I would not like to be in the comms of Knights right now. There's just got to be so much frustration. I. Maybe some nasty words as well, because you've got to feel angry at a moment like that, but you've got to then put it to the side, don't you? Well, you have to have that sort of release mechanism, Bacon. You've got to get it out off the system and move on, as you say. It's as simple as that. And these are professional players. Sosa's been in the rival series, and he's been a bit unfortunate. But in the RLCSX, he has done well. Credit to him. And yes, of course, there's a bump. Yes, it was the tie up. Yes, it was for OT. But let's not sort of take away here. 72 PC worked hard for the goal. They worked well. And again, it's the factor of Jacob playing dividends. Once again, the experience is showing. Definitely. You're right. Probably be able to just knock in his head. You've got 60 seconds. Just calm down. Have a sip of water. Talk on fruit. By all means, and I'm not even going to say the line, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. They've already got a game. Moving on to the next, they're just quite simple. Well, we just take the next two. That's fine. We don't need game five. We'll just take it to game four. 
Some knights. Had to come back. It was only a one goal game here, though, Danny. And very, very contrast to what we were thinking coming into it. But here, as we move on to game three, DFH Stadium, five minutes again on the clock. And well, 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 a Pittsburgh Knights that are looking to come back kicking. Well, I hope to send some kind of message back after conceding the way they've done. But either side will be at least content that they've got one on the board series-wise. They would like to get the opening goal in game three in Spider. It's a bit of a lot of pushing, trying to get the positional play, just trying to pluck one out and just trying to snipe. And we almost had the perfect response there from the Knights. Doesn't happen again here, but Bacon, this one, much more fast paced in the minute, almost looks like a blink of an eye too. Yeah, but look at the control as well coming out from Knights. Radico able to easily pick up, send it downfield. Stepping back. What? Naturally, this was in our blind spot, but where was the third man in this rotation? Clearly, ZPS thought he was going to have a teammate back, but Sosa was, well, still in the midfield, like, picking up the, uh, well, two ZPS's left-hand boost. That begs a question. I think it may have been a slight mechanical play mishap there from CPS, but if it was a comms issue, how much has that bumper there may have factored the situation and nights we won't know but the results nonetheless stands 1-0 continuation of the attack here by 72 well frankly bacon that's right they deserve once they can get the pressure they have done well here and what a clearance into the middle they're forcing sosa to play mid lane defense the ps well read great patience on the lad not go immediately for the ball take a breath and then Change it in the air, allows more time for his teammates to get back as well. So with the run, he's demoed for his attempts. It will find the corner, and Radico is able to pick this one up. But he's going to have to just try and apply pressure here, allow time for Sosa to get back into the game and back into the midfield. There he is right now. But oh, Steve Bass with the dunk has gained so much ground on the macro level. It's a shocking to an extent of how much he's able to have that room to work with. You thought. Probably after game two, they would have realized, spotted the issue and sorted it out. But the shot attempt, once again, the shot off the crossbar. It's almost ruined the game in terms of the goal count, Bacon. But as I said before, I prefer the defensive low score and always makes the pressure mount with each miss. And so far here, 72 PC once again attacking with all the effort. And that one could have easily been tapped in. Should have. Perhaps should have. That should have been in the net, but denied. Radico going to be able to get the Capolian accolade from that one. Keeping everything out of the net, and Sosa is going to be able to pick one up on his own. Just shows the amount of shots being put on target from 72 PC. Opportunity in front of the net here, but that's comfortably done by Jacob. Brilliant stuff. Spider with the shot, but again, a little bit overextended on that ball wind. Well, Easy defense coming out from the Knights. Well, two minutes, I've got to find at least a chance here, Bacon. It's no point of talking about defense if you don't have a goal to show for it. And so far, the situation. DPS, nice little touch back into the middle here. You talk about teammates, he decides to go solo. Right decision, and it pays off big time. Oh, and you can hear the music, almost the rave going on after that, as the Knights are able to get back into this. First goal in what feels like eternity. Pretty much close, Danny. To what? Eight and a half minutes since, uh, well, game one. Over nine minutes since the last goal. So could that maybe be the charm right now? Or could this be Spider denying? What? A comeback. What revenge that is. A death serve called quite literally a simple play and the basics of mechanics when executed at this level can be as potent as the flash and that there bacon will just happily settle what 72 pc may have considered nerves now the adrenaline being kicking they may have think they have a chance to win it but a touch like that just undoes all their hard work and the post won't deny the knights this time it is to a pace
This game has had so much to it, but so say here, so cheeky, but then so controlled. Knowing that nothing is secure in Rocket League, or it doesn't feel secure. You can see him getting up. AC Bass has that little bit of juice in the tank, able to boost and catch up and get the save. Sosa goes off to the right to just put himself in front of the ball, and you can see the dedication and the skill in this team. CPS not going to be able to find the net with that one in. Seabass wide of target for a moment. The prospect, a quick third goal, was so tantalizing. Oh, might be still on the thought on their lips. Only you're not being licked there on this one. They could just put it right into the middle, and the Knights just whips it away now suddenly. Both sides are more happy to play the long ball. Bacon just send the turn. One man occasionally touch, and this one could, oh, no. and it shall go in. Where is the knight defending the king? It's a massive blunder. Three goals to two. And the problem, Danny, is that this is not the first time we've seen a, this type of goal come on in. The knights, again, asked it earlier. Questions there. The rotations in the back lines. Something is not working. But you know the caliber of this team is extraordinary. They can make up for it elsewhere. Sosa going to be getting the third goal for night. If this has happened in a normal game, you would just <laughs> sit there, laugh your head off, and you sort of go, why? Just why, Bacon, does it happen? But here the Arl says, this is just nerves. They know what's on stake, Bacon. They know mm -hmm. it's either major qualification and as simple as that. All they I, want to do is win. I I feel bad for if anyone out there, and I'm sure there's going to be them on Twitch, is like a diehard 72 PC fan or even a Knights fan, of course, because this game should have come with like a warning label for heart attacks or something, because it has been a roller coaster of emotions throughout the whole of this. No one able to confirm a lead over the other as Cobb. Steps up into the corner. That's a pass attempt out to the middle, but cut off. And Sosa's looking to charge on that one. Oh, we're in that dreaded OT as well. In game three cut as out. well. I know it's dreaded. Normally, with the situation, you sort of maybe joke it's the best of three in the scenario, but it really does go to that silver territory. And this here by Sosa, lovely bit of set work, but C72 PC. Better defensive sort of hokey pokey action there to get it on out, but nonetheless moves it. And we're now approaching into a minute now, Bacon. Now let's just see how long this may last. How long indeed. And a very interesting bit of back and forth so far. Currently, nice in the attack, but that was all for now. CPS up in the air. Seabass and Jacob in net. And Seabass going to be able to get the clearance. Alongside that 50-50 save. This has been such a nervy affair and I couldn't ask for any more, Danny. Oh, I think we could ask for more and that will be definitely a game five. But <laughs> maybe that's just greed stepping in and Seabass. His eyes may have been deceiving them there. Already back and forth. Enjoy the technical game here. Both sides not willing to move an inch too far, but what a pass that was. And there could be a small chance of a counter, but after that touch, no. No, indeed. Spider has predicted that well and got to the other corner, but with zero boost isn't able to take much control of the situation. Cobb, cross corners, looking for the bounce out, looking for the setup, but Seabass not in the right position. Spider happened to absolutely run, and he somehow makes that save, but... CPS is able to confirm and able to put the Knights on match point. You've got to feel a bit sad. After Spider with a heroic CFC boss, just look at the net. He puts his hands in his pockets and pulls it out. Absolutely empty. That's all that he could just do. And it has to mutter the words, why me? And that That's where it feels so sad. It's just... That should have been enough to save it. That should have been able to do a job 
and it's just in these climatic moments of just sheer panic especially it happens in ot where the sec man isn't there to be able to clear it up and send that ball away and knights capitalizing beautifully on that but is I was just going to say, usually in those situations, you're expecting your teammate to sweep on in. Mm. And you're right, it was just unfortunate, but... Bacon. Yeah. Oh, this game. <laughs> I love it so much. This has been a beautiful series to watch. I got everything in it. And now the only thing I can ask more from is just the aspect of having that game five. Steve Bass and Co. to make up. You've got to send us the whole way, and heck, even on top, if you want to go and win, and win, we'll allow it, you know, we've got no say in that matter, to be honest, but Knights, I'm sure you've got a lot of fans out there that are screaming at their PCs, at their monitors right now, saying, do it, finish it now, we don't want to see the game five, just send them into the bracket, and another five minutes on the clock, we're at Utopia Coliseum, let's go, Danny. Oh, let's go, Harbert, let's go for the Knights there after that setup. 72 PC, their defense at times perfect, but sometimes shakes this team. The foundations were strong and another infield pass over to Sosa, maybe for the double. And he's just trying to put a top left placement. The lack of power really, the threat here, the Spider once more tries to dribble. Already 30 seconds gone, and you can almost count how many times 72 PC had a shot on target in their opposition. It's not. Spider doing great there, but the pop up and over from CPS is even better. Bats flying out of the net, and gold flying in the opposite direction. Well, that is Pittsburgh Knight perhaps finishing it now, but Danny. It's only been 48 seconds. There is still so much time left in this one. Well, time is now off the essence of 70 PC. They'll be sweating. And this is a wide open net. Just tuck it in. <laughs> Just tuck it in. Spider there. Left his webs to catch the flies on this one. It wasn't needed. It is a good day for Rocket League. An even better day for Spider, apparently, is that was just absolutely F-R-E-E -E for him to take. Just got to have the reactions to turn onto it. Seabass definitely not having a good day with a demo like that. He thought he was safe on that wall, but no. Denied. Good little hit out from Radico, but Sosa blocked out. These two teams sending each other from mental gymnastics right now, Danny. Is it too late to ask the admins for a best of seven? Because this has been an absolute treat, big. And usually at the early stages, you may expect a couple of 3 0 thrashes. I wonder who may have predicted that foolish earlier today. This one. <laughs> oh, I wish it was maybe best of nine or best of 11s, but that's just me being old now. And this is the beautiful example of sometimes stats coming into a series, into a day, don't mean anything. Because there is on no, like, statistical equation the computers had run the odds there was no way 72 pc were coming out on top of this series but hey it don't matter because today they're absolutely playing out of their minds 72 pc with this type of form could go the distance and that is also a massive shout out to the knights we're playing something absolutely else as well their attacks have been spectacular you see setups like that. Radico just getting the touch on in. He's going for a second. The bounce out. Seabass is there in time. But Sosa plays the waiting game. The patience. Playing his opponents like a fiddle. You talk about shots earlier and why you would do it. This is the reward by shooting at the keeper. Forcing them to go right to left and wasting boost. Drawing the position just for one goal the reward to take the lead to keep their major chances alive bacon 72 pc likewise but they'll have to do the losers bracket if it stays if it stays at this point does it still exist zps take a bow boy 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 Beautiful boy. Good boy. Brilliant goal. I cannot ask for any more from this series now, Danny. We 
have had the highlight feature match and it don't look to end anytime soon. I'm a happy little rocketeer, I've got to say. Well, you may have been sitting at level 75 for a long time, Bacon, but somebody even higher up in that peak is Jacob. He's been a bit unfortunate with his shooting, but that goal could and just could, Bacon. That's a very big if as well. Might have just saved them. Of course, it needs one more goal, but the task has got so much easier. <laughs> and everybody, it's no. rolling away from them. A chance for 72 PC, and they went, nope, we'll have a go the next time. Oh. Again, if you're a diehard fan for either one of these sides, I'd love to know the wave of emotions that always goes through you. Every single second changing. Oh. What a 50-50. What a block coming out from Spider. And you can see that through with ZPS having to come for the backup. The cavalry has arrived, but Jacob's arrived as well. Forcing a 50-50 over the Spider. Looking to get round to the middle, but no. Sosa denies. Seabass stepping up to the plate. But Sosa just continues to be an absolute defensive wall there. Well, it's our situation, Bacon. You just look at it. Do you park the bus or do you keep attacking? And I'm somewhat a bit disappointed, but deep down I'm enjoying it. Both sides <laughs> are still going out, <gasps> rightly so, What's with 60 bump? seconds. You talk about bumps, there was one prior, but Sosa with himself and Jacob does levels in downfield. He's had enough bacon. He wants to mm. grab a goal, but he has to get it out from his own corner. Only one separating these two teams. 30 seconds remain. Seabass looking for an equalizer. They're going to go the whole distance, but it just gets dislodged in the air. Radico playing keep away. And that's a bounce out to the middle. Seabass does well, but this is looking dangerous right now for 72 PC, especially with that goal coming through from Sosa. He's only gone and got himself a hat trick. And he may have just also grabbed the hearts and the appreciations of the Knights as fans as well for maybe securing the game too. And with 32 seconds, 72 PC will be hoping for a miracle. And this is an unusual situation. Ooh. A fake kickoff like that. Hopeful. But Jacob, well, he's just trying his best at the moment. You can't blame him. But with time against him, it may have just expired. You know what? I applaud the attempt. Times like this, this is that's when you bring out, you know, your wild card attempt. 72 PC looking to step up. So close to the mark, but just a whisper away. The shot put on, but Sosa is massive. Doing absolute millions in this series along his two comrades. And it will be the Knights charging on into the next round of the upper bracket. 72 PC will be dropped into lower bracket, but boy, oh boy. Tomorrow, if you have to face off against 72 PC, you better be cautious because these lads are absolutely coming for.